Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn with me, Alpha Bio Mega and Iran. So I don't even know where to start. Uh, United States declared war on us and dragged Saudi Arabia into the conflict. It's a... Or maybe it's a Saudi Arabia declaring war on us. I, I don't know. Um, but either way... Uh, United States are involved, and I don't think anyone else will get involved, but that doesn't really help us much. Just looking at the numbers, uh, right now we are facing an army of about three times our size. The good news is that we have a lot of allies that we can call in, and that are gonna change the balance of power pretty dramatically. The bad news is that even if they all join in, United States have 636 total factories, which we all cannot even... Well, it's not going to be nice. It's not going to be nice. We have to be super slow and super tactical if we want to have any chance of winning this. I mean, this is the ultimate test, isn't it? This is the endgame conflict. I would be much happier if I was the one that initiated it. But I guess this is what it is. The truth is that, again, we are not ready. The same way that we were not ready with the... Well, you know, for the conflict with Turkey when they attacked us and it dragged on for so long. The same way we are not ready now. However, we are more ready on the land than we are anywhere else. We are not ready on the sea and we are not ready uh, in the air, which is going to be where parts of this conflict are going to happen. On the other hand, we have the ability to hold our ground and repel the enemies. They have a military base here near Kuwait, which is um, the only place from which they can actually invade us. They can't even invade us from there right now because it doesn't border us, but it borders Iraq. So our primary goal will be to move all of our forces and destroy these units that will be encircled there. They have nowhere to go. Actually, I'm not sure if they can retreat to Kuwait. That might also be a possibility. But but um, if they don't, then we will encircle and destroy them there, which is, you know, fair, fair game. At which point we will only be facing naval invasion. I'm saying only with big quotation marks because um, they can attack us pretty much anywhere along our coast or along the <laughs> Allies coast. They can come pretty much from anywhere because we do not have the naval power to stop them. And that's the biggest issue. I think that what we could do is pull all of our units to a unified fleet that is going to defend uh, the Gulf of Oman and Persian Gulf, thus securing that they will not be able to get us there. However, the balance of forces when it comes to Navy is laughable when you look at it. We have, what? They got, let's call it 480 ships and we get 40 <laughs> oh, God damn it! Yeah, okay. So we will be we will be dominating the land, but they will be bombing the ever loving hell of us, and they will be bombing the ever loving hell of our allies, and they will dominate the seas. So the best outcome that we can do here is basically take down Saudi Arabia, which should be doable because I think this is a separate war. So we might be able to destroy Saudi Arabia, take control of this area, pretty much control all of the border away um, the you know Gulf of Oman and the Persian Gulf, and just hope that. Well, I don't even know what to hope for because this is not gonna go anywhere. Do we have any options to sue for peace here? It spies with America. Yeah, we can offer a ceasefire the moment we lose support. Or they are. They have a 49% surrender progress. Well. 
<laughs> How do you guys feel about a naval invasion into the United States when they have ten times as many ships? <sighs> well, I mean, I'm gonna consider this a victory if we can just keep them out of our territory. If they, we can keep them from the area, if we can take down Saudi Arabia and we can defend our own, then I'll consider a win. Which should be doable if we play our cards well. If we don't, well, then we are screwed either way because once they took a hold of us, it's just, it's just done. I mean, honestly speaking, their army is much smaller than I would have expected. They got only like, well, let's go with one million troops. Well, we alone have about half a million. Pakistan got 754,000. The big issue is going to be equipment, but um, we should be able to replenish that. So. Again, it's gonna be quick encirclements that need to be decisive and then it will be done. So what can we do here? Well, now we have two major options. We can either pull all our forces to this area and immediately attack them. But no, well, no, no, what am I saying? So two options. The first one is we pull our forces here then call our allies into the fight and then proceed to attack. Or we can immediately call everyone into the war and have our allies immediately jump in while we move our forces to attack. Either way, it's gonna be really bad because we will need to have a large scale coast guard. Oh, this is just. This is just awful. Okay, so... We need to create a special... Okay, you know. Frankly speaking, nothing is gonna happen in the north. They could attack us anywhere here, though. They could attack us anywhere here, though. So we will need to create a defensive army that's gonna patrol the coast. What kind of territory is this military base? It's desert, so tanks will be the best to attack here. Hmm. You got a pretty decent force here. So let me see, if I cancelled your orders and put the Eastern IRGC on defenses this area and if we just wanted to have them guard naval bases and coastline they would have exactly the amount of forces they need to do that. Okay, so the Eastern IRGC is gonna guard this. Motorized infantry. These are fairly weak units. But they can get heavily entrenched. You are, you are much stronger. Okay, well, the good news is that we got we got the Eastern IRGC, which can immediately guard this coast. So, that's what we could. I could also put the Western IRGC here and have them sh split the... Um, split the necessity. Or we could maybe use you as an addition. And the Northern Army. Hmm. Okay, so let's try to be a bit strategical about it. So Eastern IRGC is gonna guard the Eastern part. And the Western IRGC is gonna guard the Western part. Okay, and you're also gonna guard only the coast, which should be enough for them to actually move their units around and repel any attack that might happen. We haven't really built any 
and a fortification though, which might bind us into a rear now. Minus seven for the attacker. Okay, this is gonna have to be our priority now. We'll finish all of the defensives here that we have, and then we're just gonna guard the area. So we're starting here. So let me just put put you like this. So that's all of our territories. Now the question is, these ones are super cheap. But still, it's gonna take a whole lot of time to build these. So maybe we ought to build first three levels, and then once we... Actually, no, let's build two levels everywhere. And once we're done with that, we're gonna shuttle two more levels, and then the extra level is gonna come last. Wait. Okay. Now, so that's the that's the southern coast. Let's go this south. Let's go the south uh, eastern coast. Then we got the northern coast, which is fine. But then we got these areas where we will need to fight. Yeah, we we'll definitely need to fight these guys. There is a large detachment of American forces over there. I think you two, or these two armies, uh, the Eastern and the Western Army, which are very strong, frankly, could take care of that. So we can send them there, but who's gonna guard the coast? Well, that's a good question, for which I can say you guys are gonna guard the coast, and you guys are gonna guard the coast. Takwar. Takwar are actually not bad. Okay, so let me take you guys and add you to the foreign force. And delete your orders, and we'll just have you guard this area. And again, guard just the coast and the Goro um, area. And you guys. You guys are gonna guard this area. Oh snap, this is too much. Okay. So... Wait, what? Oh, did I forget to remove the original orders? Ah, okay, that's better. Okay, so like this. So you're gonna guard this area and you're gonna guard this area. So this pretty much means we got. This is the Pasdaran. So we're effectively putting Pasdaran as a defensive force. Are you good for that? That's a good question. Logistics was a defensive doctrine. Okay, that's amazing. So you are gonna be responsible for defending these areas. The foreign force is our main attacker, but not these areas are terrible to fight in for special forces. Okay, the Kuwait is an urban area. But we're trying to get Kuwait on our side. When we agitate Shias in Bahrain, is Kuwait next? Answer Aladdin, that's Yemen. So dismantling. Oh, this is interesting. We actually do not need to be at peace with them. Musadan. Emirate of Musadan. Oman. Yes, yeah, so Kuwait is not here at all. Uh, so Kuwait was just something where we wanted to topple them. So let's hope they will not join the war. Considering this is an offensive war, they might not, but I wouldn't bet on it. Hmm. What kind of force do we have here? 
Oh dear God. Okay, but these are... Oh, that's nice. These are all mountains. So this is where we're gonna send... The foreign force. We're gonna send you to Ankara. Go. And you are gonna deal with these guys, because that's your territory. While the Eastern and the Western Army... Oh, you got Commando Brigades as well. Okay, let's uh, put them to foreign force. And I might actually just switch them to the IRGC intervention. Oh, we do not have enough manpower. How amazing is that? Uh, well, you guys are gonna go there anyway to. Okay, so that's one way we can do this. And you guys will be responsible for fighting in these areas. Okay. So stop your drilling. You stop your drilling. Oh, I forgot. God, Jordan is not our ally. Okay. Well then, you guys go here with an attack like this, and you guys go here with an attack go like this. So that will ensure that we can attack them. Oh, but no, we have to. I forgot about you. We, are... we haven't even started, and already we do not have enough forces. God damn it. Okay, we'll need both of our armies here for this. If it works, it's golden. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Because they could just pour from this era. But they don't have any supplies in here, which is great. Oh, god damn it, game. That's no time for your games. Oh, and great, we cannot actually import stuff without. God damn it, do I have to cancel? Some of these, oh, it's gonna be awful. And we're gonna need the Kahar classes, which are outdated. Okay, uh, so you guys stop your drilling and immediately move to this area. You guys also stop your drilling. Who is this? Caspian. Oh, you cannot, <laughs> you cannot reinforce the Caspian Sea Task Force when you were deployed here. Okay, so you instead join the Indian Ocean Blue Navy. And we're canceling all of the upgrade projects that are not running now. Yep. As well. Upgrade you guys, which is fine, but not the ones that cannot go. You are... Your patrols... You are patrols, so you can join this navy as well. And the mine layers can mine lay. Again, I think we have... Yeah, we get pretty much near and maxed out mines here. So that's fine, but we need to make the Indian Ocean Blue Navy much stronger. So hopefully it will be able to repel a mediocre attack, but if they throw everything they have at us, we're screwed either way. There's just no point. 
Budget-wise, uh, we're at an economic boom and I expect that we are already losing. <laughs> Dear God, I have my operating cost. I owe my game. And that's without me actually even considering increasing this, but we have to jump to at least sizable military, maybe even higher. So let's start with the medium military. We'll see if that starts. Yo, okay, we're getting we're getting some more manpower. That's good. That is good. It's gonna also increase our production a bit. Hmm. Sufficient. Hmm. Fission forces are really bad. Okay, so what have we done? You guys are going over here. You guys are going over there. You guys protect this area. You guys protect this area. Uh, you guys all protect. Okay, so that's good. And the foreign force is going here. Okay, so we'll have immediate attacks happening everywhere. Cool. Now, the air force. It's time for you guys to show what you learned. So you are going to... Uh, we want you to do interception. In Iran. Yeah, that's one big territory. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. And I might want to deploy some more planes over here, for example. Just to support the area. I don't really think that's gonna help, but maybe they won't have. You are a puppet. Okay. So I could deploy here some of the older helicopters and put them on close air support against these guys. Or I could do it. Here, you're an ally. So that would also work. Yeah, I think Central Anatolia is. Or it's gonna be happening. Okay, so let's deploy Kaharis. Let's deploy you. Let's deploy you. You and you. And you. <laughs> I don't have manpower. Ah, I don't have manpower. My God, this is this is not a good time. Can okay, you have manpower to deploy at least some of those? 150. Okay, we get manpower enough for that. Fortunately, you're really awful. But once you deploy here, you can do interception in Anatolia and help with the local defense. Okay. So, what have we done? We have moved our forces, we have moved our navy, we have moved our air force, we started... Uh, we started to ramp up our military spending again. Uh, not gonna help much, but even the 5% is really good. What's the sub depreciation going? Cause Money is not gonna be an issue enough. now. We're gonna go bankrupt pretty much soon. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the Osima TV propaganda is happening. We need to lower the issues that we have as much as possible. We want to minimize the casualties. Oh, this sucks so much. 
I mean, one, on one side, I'm happy that we are going to take down Saudi Arabia, which we will. That is really not a question. But on the other hand, facing the United States is just... It's just bonkers. Well, at least they increased the world tensions. <laughs> so, so that's something. Cool. Either way, I think we're done with the setup. I can't think of anything else except for you guys. We're still building you. Sharp 5 and cost diminution. High explosive. Incendiary. Do we have any? Do we have to like purchase that? Anti runaway incendiary strike type tactical strike strategic type select target point. Well, the target point should be here. Extremely hot. Oh no, ICBM. And how do I select a launch point? Okay, do we have a launch point somewhere? This is... So we need the TEL battery, which we have in here. Storm. Okay, so I think we've just selected a launch point and we can now strike them. But the missiles that we have here, which is the Shahab 5 and the incendiary. Okay, so now we have selected a launch point and a target point. Okay, but this means... Do you want it to shoot the incendiary? Oh, I should have checked that before. Hold on. Can I uncheck it? Fire, no, can I select the target point? Okay, can I unselect it? Dang it. Well, I mean, we'll test the damage in the next episode. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, well, it's always the first time for something. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to start. This is going to be fun.